Hi there, welcome to Active Lessons with Myself. We are going to look at material balance. You have probably been introduced to this during your first year in chemical engineering or utility. Let us now dodge into how can you solve a material balance problem using Octave. One thing I wanna keep you updated is that your equations are gonna be very, very valid. You are still going to use your equations. You still need those basic skills. What Octave is only going to help you to do is we are going to use the matrix rule to solve for the unknowns. So A multiplied by X will give you B. We are told that a chemical separation system is used to separate benzene styrene, toluene, and xylene with an array of distillation color shown in this figure below. Experimental data shows the feed rate of the streams, A, given as 100 mole per hour, and the composition of A being 15% benzene, 20% styrene, 30% toluene, and 35% xylene. We are given the compositions of D, and we are told the remainder will go to E, we are also given the composition of F, and we are told the remainder will go to G. So basically what we don't know, it's the overall flow rates for B, D, E, F, C, G, and the compositions of B and C. To start this, I went to my octave and wrote everything nicely for myself in order to understand what I am working with. You can see that I represented very well A equated to D, E, F, and G. I wrote down my equations nicely for myself, the benzene balance, styrene balance, toluene balance, and xylene balance. Next, what I did is I am going to use the matrix law to solve for this unknowns here. Notice that the unknowns here are the majors, which is D, E, F, and G. Let us let H be the first part of our matrix. And I represented it very nicely here. Row, column, row, column. Next up, I will equate K to what is known, which is 15, 20, 30, and 35. Notice this here, it's the compositions of A multiplied by 100 to get the actuals of each component in A. Using the matrix law, I am going to solve for my unknown. In this case, I equated it to L. And this is what I got, which is D, E, F, and G. Now I know my A, D, E, F, and G. I can now confidently go and do a balance on my second distillation and my third distillation. B is equals to D and E, overall balance on the second distillation. I nicely represented my compositions for both D and E since I know them and also know the value of D and E stream. The only unknown here on this second distillation is the compositions of B. So let's solve it. I am going to make use of the matrix law again to solve for the compositions of B, which are my unknowns. And this is what I got. I got 9, 10, 14, and 16. This simply means we have 0 0.4124 moles of benzene in B, 0 0.4343 of moles of styrene in B, 0 0.6094 of moles in toluene, of toluene moles in B, and we also have xylene at 0 0.6970 moles of xylene at B. You could also solve this manually using pen and paper just to make sure that you are on the right page. So far, I'm confident because I got the same answer. Do the same formula for the third distillation column to solve for the C compositions, and you will find your unknowns, and then you have to find the actual compositions of the unknowns in your C. I used my manual method again, and I found the same answer. I really hope this helps. Don't forget to pause this video, attempt it yourself, and use my attempt to correct yourself. 